This 18 inch trout is holding and feeding at the tail end of a pool and catching these fish can be incredibly challenging because the water is so clear and you can see your target it does help I'm using a parachute dry fly here and I'm trying to get into position with the minimum of fuss I'm trying not to arouse the natural suspicion of these fish this fish is holding on that lighter colored rock you can see the shadow and the fish clearly as it holds upstream waiting for nymphs and adults to drift by you can see by the fact that it's moving from side to side that it's eating nymphs at the moment but it did rise early on so I'm going to try with the dry fly put it upstream making sure they get a nice drag free drift over the fish I'm using a 12 foot tapered leader to 5x tip it and the fly is a size 16 I make another cast and wait for the dry fly to drift past this is hard stopping stuff you see the trout start to rise and eat the fly striking them in hooking a trout in a spot like this can be incredibly challenging these fish are hyper spooky so you have to take your time make sure that your leader and fly is right and how's this for a nice jump try to make your casts well upstream of the trout's holding position that way you have less chance of spooking the fish also make sure that you have lots of slack in your leader so that by the time the fly reaches the trout you don't have any drag on the fly I'll try and land the trout, there we go very pretty fish this trout was holding a little bit lower down and after the tussle with the previous fish came back and held in this lie I had to make a side on upstream cast for the previous fish but with this one I'll have to make a purely side on cast and then drift the fly downstream in front of the holding fish the trout rose twice in quick succession which shows me that it is feeding off the top so I've got a good chance of hooking it on a dry fly after two unsuccessful drifts I decide to rest the fish and just watch to see what it's doing it's definitely eating nymphs subsurface probably baiters as there are plenty of them around at the moment note the prominent shadow that the fish casts on the rock below it despite the excellent camouflage it can't hide its shadow after drying my dry fly with loon top ride and checking my tippet I make a, another cast and this one's drifting through quite nicely unfortunately as it gets close to the fish it starts to drag slightly so I let it drift through the last thing you want to do in this position is make that dry fly pop as you lift it up so bring it up very carefully make another cast that drifts through and I watch the fish as it splashes on the tack set the hook and I'm into a really nice fish <laughs> trip as I try to get in position large arbor reel really helps you to stay in contact with these fish as they dart around all over the place especially a large one like this dry flies are tied on very thin wire hooks so you can't put too much pressure on a hooked fish you really have to take your time and uh, tie the fish out here it comes try and see if I can grab it first time, no and second time in hand lift it out gently cradling its weight in my hand, that's a beautiful fish and time for the release 